Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and to give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys, I am so excited to be hanging out with you in today's video. I'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing and I'm super excited because I don't know, I just, I love cash unstuffings. So I'm gonna figure out where I wrote all this down, right here. So we're kind of doing like, I don't know, I feel like we've spent a lot of money since we've moved into the new house, but I also feel like that's kind of how it goes. Let's go ahead and get started. I've been trying to figure out where I wanna pull this money from to make change. And so I think what I'm gonna start with is my savings challenges. And I'm just going to pray that there is enough in here. The reason that I really like using this to make change is because, let's see, I know exactly how much needs to go back into each envelope. The only issue I could see is if you know, for example, at the end, I didn't have eight fives to put in here, but ultimately it doesn't matter because actually I'm doing this thing now where I'm rounding up to the nearest five or rounding down. So I might just try to use what's in my envelopes and like use this if we like actually need it. I don't know. Maybe we'll just use it all. Maybe we'll just start with this and then if I actually need this from the $1 savings challenge, I, I'll just grab it at that time. Okay, I am getting over a pretty bad cold, so I'm sorry if my voice is like horrendous to listen to, but either way, like this still needs to get done and I don't know what it's like to not film a cash stuffing or condensing or unstuffing, so hopefully you guys are here for it, but if you're new to the channel, what a cash unstuffing is, is when my husband and I use our debit card to make purchases instead of cash. And there's a few different reasons we do that. Um, the main one is online spending. So online spending is a huge reason we would use our debit card. So places like Amazon um, or Target, because I do all of my grocery shopping or a majority of it at Target um, and Sam's Club. So both of those are placed online. Groceries specifically, we leave that money in our account. We don't take that out as cash because I do all my grocery shopping online and then I go pick it up because it saves me money and it helps me stay within my budget. But there are some things like when I'm grocery shopping, I'll also get toilet paper and paper towels and diapers or things that we need around the house. And so those things I just use my red card for because you get 5% cash, well, it's not 5% cash back, it's a 5% discount essentially when you order those things that way. So there are some instances, if I'm not in the store, I'll just use my Target debit card and purchase those things that way. So then I keep track of it on this sheet of paper. And the way I do that is I use the Every Dollar app, which connects to your bank account, and then you can drag and drop those transactions into the different categories. And I do still plan on doing a video on how I do that. I just need to make time to do it. So for right now, we're going to focus on the cash unstuffing. And I've started doing a thing where like, I'll just grab a binder and we'll try to knock out all the categories out of that one binder. So first things first, we're going to grab our kids binder just because that is the first one on here. And I'm going to grab my calculator because I know I'm going to need that. So Let's see, ice rink. So my son for his birthday wanted to do a hockey birthday party. And so we rented the ice for an hour and then the conference room for an hour after. We didn't need the whole hour for the conference room, but that's just how they do it. So it's $240 to rent both. It was so fun. I'll pop a little video up on the screen because Liam invited his entire hockey team. So they just got to like skate, free skate for an hour together, which, you know, normally they're practicing and at games. So it was fun for them to just have fun. Um, okay, so $240 out of birthdays, and then I know I do have a couple more, so $35 for Liam's gift. Um, I did do treat bags for his friends, so we had 13 boys come. There was one that couldn't make it, and then $15 for his cupcakes. 
So that's a total of $410 for his birthday gift and his friend birthday party. So let's go ahead and find birthday parties in here. Um, and so this envelope has a placeholder. And the reason it has a placeholder is because I have this money stashed somewhere else. So you guys have seen this system before. And basically for money that I know we are going to be spending like relatively soon, I keep that in a separate um, binder because if it's in our savings account, then I think we have more money than we actually do. <laughs> so we're gonna grab birthdays here. And we have one, two, three, three fifty four, four fifty five hundred dollars in birthdays. I'm trying to remember, like I feel like I had an extra two hundred dollars, and I'm worried I might have already pulled some of it out, but oh well, I'll figure that out later. So this placeholder we can set aside. So I need to pull four hundred and ten. So one, two, three, three fifty four, four fifty. So then I need to make change for this. And let's see here. So we're gonna be putting 40 back into here. So we have 90 left over in birthday parties. So I'll put that back in the envelope since we don't need the placeholder for it anymore. And then we'll put all that up there. And just a side note, I am gonna be offering these soon. These are like the custom placeholders for a system like this because I've never seen any other cash stuffers use a system like this. I'm sure some people do. They just maybe don't have a YouTube channel or something, but I do plan on offering those because so many of you guys have asked and I want to make sure I can offer that to you. All right, so let's see if there's any other kids categories there are not so we can put this binder away next up is adult beverages i'm not confident we have enough in this one so this is going to be in low priority so we only have a 20 so i might skip that one and the next time we do it on stuffing i'll come back to it because we still need to unstuff for like the rest of March. So I'll come back to that one. Let's stay in low priority and just see if there's anything else. So home, we can do home, which is 60. And then gifts. Well, I guess this is all going to be separate. So just one for home. So let's find home first. So we need to take 60 out of here. And we're going to take 40 back. All right, and then next is going to be gifts. So $15. I just invested in like three rolls of gift wrap because we never have gift wrap like readily available. And then $25 for Liam's other birthday gift. So we normally get him two, one for mom and dad and one from the siblings. So, and then 15, oops. So $40 total for gifts. Okay. So Liam got a little bit spoiled this year, kind of. I mean, so you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that Liam saved up his money for like nine months to buy his own laptop. So he bought like a $250 HP laptop and um, we have an extra like monitor. And so I told Chris, I'm like, it'd be really cool now that he has his own room and his own desk if he had like a monitor because we just had the monitor laying around. So we gave him that, but then we also, so like one of his gifts was a keyboard and a mouse. And then his other gift was like a Nerf gun thing. So he was pretty excited. He has not gotten the Nerf gun yet. I'm waiting until his family birthday party, just like with our family to give him that. But okay, I think that's it for low priority. So the next we'll do high priority. 
So we have household. I got all of them so 200 out of household our household envelope like gets built up pretty high and then I always tell you guys like we spend all the money at once 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 oh my gosh we're five dollars short are you serious okay so what we're gonna do is not all of these so where is oh yeah this five dollar one I bought rinse agent or whatever for our dishwasher so if we subtract that then we should have like just enough we're going to be empty but 20 40 60 80 1 150 170 180 190 195 perfect so then this will go back to the bank i feel like next month i'm up to stuff quite a bit in that envelope i hate that it's empty so we'll mark off all of the household except household. So I got a can opener because ours broke. Have you guys ever had that happen where it's like, oh my gosh. It's like the worst thing to break because you literally can't get the can open then. Um, and then I got a um, mattress cleaner thing. It's like uses some sort of light and then like it sucks up all the dust mites off of your mattress. I don't know, I saw it on, I was influenced to buy it, but it was expensive, but I don't regret the purchase whatsoever. Okay, so next, the household, next we'll do beauty. So let's add up beauty. I think I just have one. Yeah, I just have one. So I, I got like, oh, it's 50. So I bought like four packs of my lashes. I normally only buy one or two at a time and I'm sick of running out of them. So I bought four packs at once, plus they were on sale. So I just get them from Amazon. They're at the Kiss brand. If anybody is curious, I could maybe show you in a vlog sometime how I do my lashes because it's super easy and it's super inexpensive. Okay, beauty, household. So clothing. I went ahead and bought myself a new swimming suit. I think that's the only thing though. Yes, so clothing, $35. I gotta stay off Instagram because I was also influenced to buy this. 20, 25, 30, $35. It's so cute though. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but our new house has a pool and we've never had a pool. So neither of us know how to, know how to take care of a pool. But um, it's why I made a pool envelope. <laughs> So, because we're going to have to have, like, a company come out this summer and just, like, show us everything, like, how to take care of it. Um, okay, I think that's it for high priority. So, then next we'll do our holiday sinking funds. I believe this should be our last binder. So, I got a lot of my Easter shopping done. Oh, I need to take out of chickens. Where was that one? That might have been in low priority. We'll come back to that. For right now, let's stay focused. So Easter, we have 150. So that's for um, like, tr so I'm hosting like a huge Easter egg hunt for all my nieces and nephews and then my kids. So it's like eight kids total. And so I bought all the Easter eggs and then all the candy and all like the surprises and stuff to put in the eggs. So that's what that is. And then $85, this is what I spent on my kids' Easter basket stuff. And then another $30. So we need to take $265 out of Easter. So let's see here. $200. We'll do $270 for right now. So one, two, two, four, six, seventy, and then we'll just take a five back. And this is why I cash stuff for holidays because I'm so happy to just be able to host this fun Easter egg hunt. Create, you guys know I love traditions, and both my sisters were like, "Tell me how much I need to Venmo you," and I'm like, "Don't worry about it." Like, this felt so painless because we've been literally 
slowly cash stuffing this envelope for an entire year and now I get to just like bless my sisters and be like don't you don't need to Venmo me just bring your kids and let's have fun so and it was so fun because this year for like the kids' Easter baskets they got a couple of treats and that's it I'm not a fan of like red dye 40 and all of that so they got a couple of fun treats and then um a lot of like pool stuff for the pool because like obviously we don't have anything um and then like a you know some arts and crafts for the girls and whatever if you watch my cash stuffing that i'm doing i'm gonna be filming it after this but my cash stuffing i am gonna be adding a binder i'm not adding envelopes i'm just kind of like reorganizing my envelopes to, so it makes more sense okay so i can't unstuff this one yet because People informed me I forgot to stuff this one last week, so we're double stuffing it this week. So I can't pull out of that one yet, but next time I do my unstuffing, I should be able to. Okay, so let's go through and add up all of these numbers so far. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to pull out what I need um, to put back in my savings challenges. I'm going to set this aside still. So for the $5 savings challenge, we need 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So eight fives to put back in here. We're going to find crispy ones. If there are any, there are not. These are all bad. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to need to recount these. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Another plus for doing this. All right, and then we need six tens. And I think I will add these clear envelopes to the shop. I personally might switch back to the other ones. I haven't decided yet, but so many of you have been asking me to put these in the shop, so I will. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. All right, one, two, no, I, I only need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, perfect. All the crispy ones, there's exactly six of them. And then I'm also gonna put the A5 clear envelopes in there. So I have it on my to-do list. That's like my Friday task, which is tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday is to order. I have like a long list of things I need to order to put in the shop. So stay tuned because it's going to be fun. All right. Let's get these put back here. And for 20s, we need 10 of them, it looks like. 8, 9, 10. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that one's nice too. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just making a mess over here. Just making a mess. All right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to double check my work or else I make mistakes. You guys know that by now. All right, and then we need to add this back into our $1 savings challenge. We didn't end up needing it, which was nice. Okay. All right, now we can add these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so as long as I added this up correctly, this is how much money we should have here. So let's count it up. This is so nerve wracking. It's like the moment of truth. All right, so one, two, three, four, 500. 556, 657, 758, Two, four, six, eight, nine, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety-five, one thousand. 
Okay, I feel like I messed this up. Hang on one second. All right, one, two, three, four, five hundred. 550, 6, 657, 758, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, 1,010, 1,020, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we're $20 off. $20. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quick re add this because that's what I'm assuming happened or I messed up earlier in the video which I'll catch when I'm editing but you know how it goes yeah I must have messed up somewhere must have messed up somewhere it's okay I'll find it when I'm editing or you guys will tell me in the comments one or one or the other both are awesome so Here's the deal. I'm going to answer a few questions that I know I'll get in the comments if I don't answer them um, in the video. So this is coming to the shop. I just received word that they have been shipped. So as soon as I get them and we process through them, which basically means we inspect every single one to make sure that the quality is good, then I will launch them. So there are probably three or four brand new products coming to the shop that I've never even talked about, never mentioned, and they're brand new to the shop. I've never had anything like it. So this is one of them. Um, I will also be restocking the whole A5 hole punched budget binder pages. So um, stay tuned for that. Those will be coming back in stock and I did figure out a way to keep them in stock. So hopefully they won't be out of stock like this again. And then coming up, another thing that will be added at the same time, is the monthly savings challenge trackers. So they are, from now on, they're gonna be sold with these envelopes because they look almost exactly the same. They give you that clean, crisp look, except they are trackers like this and they are reusable, they're laminated. This is a handmade item, but they'll be sold inside the envelope so they still give the same appeal as the cash envelope ones, but I'll be able to keep these in stock a lot easier because they take about a fourth of the time to make and they're not as hard on my wrists. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when you make thousands and thousands of cash envelopes, it's really hard on your wrist. There's a lot of cutting and folding and cutting and cutting and laminating and cutting. <laughs> that happens. So those will be restocked in the shop as well um, and most likely placeholders. And then I do also plan to offer the custom placeholders, like I said, in case you want to have a system similar to mine where you um, are able to put your money in envelopes like this when you put a placeholder into your binder. Like if it's something you're not wanting to take to the bank right away, because you know you're gonna be spending the money sort of soon, um, then you can store it that way and have those custom placeholders. So even though this wasn't the most perfect unstuffing, that's just how it goes. And the most important thing is that I'm keeping track of this stuff and I'm staying on top of my cash unstuffings, which was a huge goal of mine for 2024. So either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.